As a place to live, work and play, culture has been at the heart of everything that we have done at the stage. We started with the preservation and the restoration of the oldest known Shakespearean theatre in London, the Curtain Theatre, nearly 500 years old. And we've worked very closely with Molar in preserving the remnants of the theatre, which will be on show to the public at the end of our development cycle. The stage is where we've discovered uh, an early Shakespeare theatre, and it's always been a place outside of the city walls where people came, enjoyed themselves, collaborated, uh, shared radical ideas. Today you've got a combination of kind of that legacy with new creative businesses, new ideas, holding on to things like street art, but also new forms of artistic collaboration. The Great Eastern Art Room is an East London icon and a treasured community asset. It's a 60 metre square frontage on Great Eastern Street, backing onto our stage development. It's a space for local and international artists to work with Hackney-based charities and socially responsible organisations, keeping the spirit of street art alive, whilst benefiting the local community and the charities who all deserve our support. It's a pleasure to be working with the stage um, and that it's able to support so many murals for different charities, including Chicken Shed Theatre Company, All Dogs Matter, Arts Kickers, Ministry of Stories, Shannon Trust. Uh, it's been fabulous designing murals with and for those charities, sometimes working with the users of those charities, including young people and children, uh, to produce something on such a busy road that gets such great exposure for those charities. It's great that the stage is supporting street art because street art is so important for bringing communities together and making it much more vibrant. But if it's also doing something for good as well, then all the better. So we use the breeds on the mural that basically reflect the, the kinds of breeds that come in to our rescue centre. Amongst our supporters, we've had people kind of phoning us, telling us they've seen it, um, coming up to us at events and saying that they thought it was a really great way of kind of getting our message across. And we also think it's been a really great way of actually attracting new supporters as well. You know, uh, it, it's been such a well-received project to be able to work on something so creative in support of charities. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a good one. Well, you only have to walk the streets of Shoreditch and whether you've got tourists coming to look at street art, whether you've got people coming to enjoy the nightlife, whether just discovering some of the heritage buildings around here. It's a really popular destination for visitors to London. And I think it's a real contrast to kind of the West End where people are looking for something a bit more exciting, a bit more authentic, and uh, that's what people are coming to see. All of the development partners of the stage, led by Kane International, together with Galliard Homes from London, Vanka from China, and McCourt from the US, all have at the heart of our businesses the passion of building communities, the passion of building places for people to live, to work, to play. <laughs>